Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's discussion, we want to look at the form of government that will suit the Yoruba nation we are about to create. It was Fela Anikulapo Kuti that taught us that culture and tradition should alter the government. From the onset, let me make this very clear that the Yoruba culture has got no religion. We have our culture and tradition. And I will tell you the result of the West meeting the Africans. Every time that we met them, the result is always the same. There was an exhibition I saw not too long ago that is titled, Which is Primitive and Which is Modern Art? And in this exhibition, there are selected works from the masters. Masters like Erimon, like Pablo, Picasso, and others that are masters in the true sense of that word in Europe. But this exhibition was showing that they copied heavily from the Africans to create what the Europeans label master's art. Why the source of their inspiration was labeled primitive. In the African music scene, when Europe meets Africa, what came out of it, at least in a place like Lagos, was the African art mimicking the European art, and we call it highlight. Very soon, people get fed up with that and develop something that is more rooted in the African form of music, which they call Juju. And later on, they develop Fuji. And now, people are using this form of music to create a music that is truly African which the Europeans are copying. Having said all this, let us look at our culture. The best form of government that we ever developed was the ile -Ife form of government. From ile -Ife with diffusal, and you see decline as we go out, as the Yoruba nation, as we have it now, is formed, as we occupy Western Nigeria. The truth is that we have not done as much as Ileife did. You go and see the art that was discovered by accident in Ileife is mind boggling. It's so perfect and it shows that as we diffuse out, there's decline. So it is to Ileife that we we'll go if we want the best form of Yoruba government. The Yoruba government, as we see it in Ileife, has solved all problems. It's a government that is at after all said and done. Within our borders, there was no poverty, no orphan, no widow. They've solved all this problem. There was no pollution. There was conservation at the best that it can be. And let me say this clearly now. There is no religion within the Yoruba culture. What has been labeled God in the Yoruba culture? is a mislabel. Orisha is not our God. They are our hero past. And we honor them only because of what they did in the past. And so, with this in mind, let us now look at the Ileife culture and what we can get out of it for this nation that we are trying to form. Ileife system of government is democratic and the best definition of the world. They have the Ifa oracle, 
which is a belief that our hero paths are part of the running system. And because they've gone to another dimension, they know more than us. And they are more than us because the Eurobus says you can, as a young person, have more new dress than the old ones, but you can never have as much old dress as the people before you. And that is the power behind the formation of FIFA because the people that has gone and folded into our past, they know more than us and they number more than the living at any given time. So it is to Ifa that we now look. If anybody is going to be called into government, we first have to consult the IFA. It is the people that are selected by IFA, the people that their head select to rule us that will rule us. If we have this form of government, things will argue well for the Yoruba nation that we are forming. I'm a Christian, I don't want to go to IFA. Should not be the view. We are only using our culture. I'm a mus Muslim. I don't want to have anything with, to do with Ifa. Should not be the way of thinking. You do Luto. And you do some other things that is being refined out of Ifa. When you put something in place and you select one, you are consulting the unseen force. The same way we consult Ifa. If we do this, things will go well with the Yoruba nation, when they are selected, when they are going to be pressed into service, they have to go to the Ifa Oriku. And before Ifa Oriku, they have to make a vow to be truthful and honest in service for as long as they are going to be in government. And then things will all do well for the Yoruba nation that we are going to form. If we struggle for the Yoruba nation, we get the Yoruba nation, and then we start mimicking the Europeans. They've never got it right, and they will never get it right, because there's too much trickery in their type of system of government. You see that we have a form of government that was perfect, and a good example of people who abuse power and how the Yoruba nation deal, dealt with them. So it's a form of government that is very balanced. We should go back to it and maybe refine it with the new form of knowledge that we have now. Not replace it, but refine it get people to sit down together. Like it is said, iron sharpened iron. When we have the base, we can refine it further using system of government from other places, but our system of government should be based on what obtained in Ile Ife. And when we have this form of government, things will argue well for us. There will be nobody within our border that will suffer whether you are the son of the soil or a stranger in our midst you will be treated well our old people will be respected like they always been given respect in the yoruba land if we do this it will be copied by everybody in the world, and we must have, by doing this, make our ancestors proud. Let us look to our ancestors for the form of government. Let us follow what Fela say. Let our culture alter our government.
Thank you for listening to me. Please subscribe to my channel. Press the notification bell so that you will be notified anytime we have a new video release. Encourage us by liking this video. Thank you.